Hello, Junta viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you back to Out of the Park Baseball 21. Last season, we won 106 games, made it to the World <laughs> Series. Excuse me. That was disgusting. I apologize. And promptly fell flat in the World Series and got, I think it's fair to say, pretty much dominated. Mm. So... What are we doing today? We are going through the off season. And I already did the end of my last video. I did my arbitration offers. I non-tendered a few of our bullpen guys. I think we can do better than a lot of them. Um, we offered Nolan Arnato his 15 million to see if we'll come back. And if he doesn't, that's okay. Let's advance time a bit. Oh, I know what we needed to do. We needed to start filling out the coaching staff. Because a lot of our minor league coaches left because I fired them. Well, I didn't rehire them, rather. Fans are pretty happy about uh, Pirat. Nice. Uh, where are you, front office? Here you are. Personnel. Yeah, the, the cupboard's pretty bare for minor league coaches, so let's let's invest. Right? Let's make it better. Uh Kyle Snyder. Bring you in as a pitching coach. Done. Next job. Single A pitching coach. I mean, absolutely. Let's bring him in. Done. Single A hitting coach. I want to go young. Um, Mark Grace? Yes. I love getting actual players in as coaches. It just, it tickles my funny bone. Manager, Sal Fasano. Very tempting. But I think I'm going to go with Carlos Garcia because of this boost to development influence. I think that's very important for us. Especially in a low-ranked uh, minor league. <clears throat> Aberdeen's pitching coach. Let's take Greg Jones. That's quite reasonable. Our rookie league manager. Um, and now we can hire Sal Fasano for this job, I think. Man, these guys want a lot of money for jobs that aren't, to be frank, that important. It is what it is, mi amigos. We'll take Jorman Bazardo. Um, I'd like to hire someone with really good development influence. Ryan Acosta, beautiful. Oof. You want a lot of money, my friend. Finally, an A-ball manager. Carl Everett. Doesn't believe in dinosaurs, but that's okay. Because that's not the job. Acosta wants more money. I'll give you 400 grand and not a penny more. If you don't like it, you can take a long walk off a short pier. Ryan Mountcastle was third. Carl Everett wants more money. Is it because I made fun of you not liking di thinking dinosaurs didn't exist? I guess that's fair. Uh, who got a gold glove? 
Ryan Mountcastle. And I was about to replace him as defensive first baseman. Well done, my friend. Well done. <laughs> How good were you, actually? Eh. It's all right. Ryan Acosta still wants more money. You know what? Screw you. I'm not paying through the nose for a low miners guy. Garcia signed. Acosta signed somewhere else. Silver Sluggers. Catcher. First base. Third base. Left field. Four Silver Sluggers. Beautiful. That's right, keep inflating your value, Nolan Arenado. Daniel Corona made it. Ooh, look at this. That was damn close. Ooh. I think they made the right choice, but damn if that's not a hard choice to make. But I do think they made the right call. I do think Corona was ever so slightly better. It's very gratifying. I better win manager of the year, too. Yeah, there we go. My second one. Jack Leiter. Jack Leiter. He did get a pitching triple crown. Even if he wasn't quite as good as he was last season. Still pretty damn good. Now, I don't think I'm going to get an MVP. I don't think that is in our cards. Which is fine. Um, did we make the top three, though? Well, I do think at least one of my players got one or two votes. Brian Mountcastle finished third, which is frankly hilarious, but still pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't ignore Fernando fucking Tatis Jr. Hitting 50 homers and playing shortstop and obliterating his previous war high. That's just, yeah, I, I can't quibble. Not even a little bit. This is a frankly redonkulous, uh, season. And that's all I've got to say about that. I'm impressed that Mountcastle made it uh, as high as he did. He must have been second or third place on an awful lot of ballots. And Mike Trout remains Mike Trout. There's no disputing that. Uh, arbitration hearings. Here come some more coaches. Uh, what jobs do we still have to fill? <clears throat> uh, I still need to fill three more coaching jobs. Pablo Martinez. And then what other jobs were there? Oh, let's increase ticket prices ever so slightly. I made the World Series two years in a row. You Baltimore jerks can spend $18 to, to come and watch us. I don't think I'm asking too much. Need another hitting coach. Let's grab us a Bernie Castro. And then the manager job. Sam Militello. You both signed. We got another new prospect. Pablo Martinez. Don't call me Pedro. And we have no one that's even... And that's the least surprising news of the season, which is fine. 
At least it was about twenty million dollars to spend this off season, which I'm pretty excited about. Now, what do we spend on, gentle viewers? God damn it, Carl. There is Victor Robles. Eh, he's not that great. <laughs> We're going to kick the tires on a couple of free agents, but none of the... Uh, hello, Mackenzie Gore. Yeah, you want too much money. The thing is, our payroll's only going to go up. Which is the challenging part. I wouldn't mind investing in a couple of bullpen arms. I think that's a reasonable spend. Maybe make some deals down here. We'll figure something out. Um, I do know one thing I want to do is let the league here roll over um, before I make any big expenditures. Because I don't think there's anyone that perfectly fits what we want to do here. Um, Zach Pop. You want an awful lot of money for a guy who's not even a closer. How about no? Corona Jr. He wants to get paid. Uh, very understandable. And I ain't gonna do it. Sorry, bro. Yeah, there's nobody here that I feel particularly enthusiastic about bringing back. You're a guy that gets out left-handed hitters. I don't need to pay you a premium. It's not a difficult job to fill. Uh, personnel. I have two pending offers. Very well. Excellent. Oh, right, free agents. Um, <laughs> that is a really good reliever. Like, stupidly good. But I'd like to, to spend a bit less to improve the bullpen. Hello, Jassel de la Cruz. You, my friend, are perfect. You're even a borderline starter. I think you will make a wonderful addition to the Baltimore Orioles. Come along, my friend. Um, what else? Steven Strasburg would be a decent fit, but meh. So our number one problem, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to bother kicking even the tires on Mackenzie Gore. I'm not going to be able to afford him. Uh, let's look at center field. Victor Robles. He's a pretty good hitter. He's a pretty good center fielder. He's got the history of getting on base. Wants a lot of money. That is problematic. Byron Buxton doesn't get on base. Manuel Margot is a good center fielder, but also doesn't get on base. You Sneal Diaz, he used to play for me. Meh. Yeah, the kind of players we need just aren't here. They're not available. Which is, as they say, a shame. But I'm okay with that. 
Yeah, I think we go ahead and find a new solution to our center field problem. There's just nothing here. And I've got third base taken care of. I've got a great DH that's just been waiting for a spot to open up. I frankly don't see any other point. Uh, maybe getting a veteran starter. Um, someone to basically pitch in AAA. Hey, buddy. Come along. Like, I could kick the tires on, say, Mackenzie Gore, but I'm sure we can't afford him. Like, he just wants delusional amounts of money that I cannot afford to pay. Which is a shame, but it, it is what it is. Zach Wheeler, on the other hand. Hmm. I think he might wait until later on and see if we even need another starter. Because I don't think we do. There's a ton of talent in this system already. Mr. Fabian, you're starting the year in the major. Max Meyer, too, in all probability. Try to find a new center fielder somewhere else, maybe. It's not likely, but it's not impossible, either. Uh, Mr. Keith, I am removing you from my personal care. Josh Roberts, I think we need to put you into A-ball to see if you'll ever get to hit. Because right now you're not even doing anything for the most part. <laughs> you're a big dude, Andy Neal. You're a very big dude. All right, uh, let's just continue. I, I guess this is going to be another uncomplicated offseason. I just see very little purpose to spending a bunch of money this year. I can cast my ballot. Don't mind if I do. Beltron, not as Drupal Cabrera. Oh, uh, yes, Miguel Cabrera. I think he's very worthy. Robinson Cano, short Matt Carpenter, pass. I love me some Bartolo Colon. I will never not vote for him. Edwin Encarnacion is an interesting choice. I might come back to him if I have an open spot and cast it for him. Zach Greinke, without a question. Todd Helton, yes. Uh, any other mega stars? There's a bunch here that raise from pretty okay to pretty good. Definitely Ichiro. Justin Verlander, without question. Uh, let's come back and let's toss about to Edwin Encarnacion. And they're basically at a bunch of players that are all roughly the same level. No one else this list is automatic for me. Maybe Felix Hernandez. And maybe Tim Hudson. And I think that's fine. Let's submit us a ballot. Yeah, we're just at this weird stage in our career where I just don't see any need to add additional weapons. <clears throat> and the ones we could add are just ridiculously expensive. Here we go. 
I get a supplemental first round pick. That's still pretty good. And he signed with LA, which is perfect for me. Um, because they're not in my division. I know the fans are going to be a bit sad, but we had to do it. Like, what are they offering you? There we go. Winter meetings start. And then let's go to our front office and let's make sure we're spending the money we need to be spending. Yes, we are. Uh, go and give me the five million here. Because I'm not going to spend it on free agents. I've already decided that. Let's put our extra money to good use. And we're going to go to winter meetings. And fans are pretty excited about this guy, which is kind of funny to me, but okay. I can live with that. Let's put you on the 40, man. This is a pretty damn fine roster. If I do say so myself. We've got three megas. Oh, sorry. Please give me my scouts ratings, not your ratings. Okay. We've got three megastars <clears throat> with the bat. We've got several others who are all stars or very, very good. We have Jack Leiter, and we've got a great supporting cast of starting pitchers behind him. I think this is a really good team that only needs tweaks to be even better. And we're probably going to have a boring couple of off-seasons because my big party is going to be keeping what we've got, not adding new necessarily. Mr. Matheny. I am kind of, I am upset with you, not that you've done anything wrong, but that I don't have an obvious place for you. And I guess my problem with Mr. Clark here, or sorry, not Mr. Clark, Mr. Matheny here is that he can't play center. He'll play the corners. He's arguably better than Quintana. Uh, head scout, please. Thank you. I think we trade Lorenzo. I think we know what we need to know about him. He's not part of this team's future. I think we trade him. What are my options here? I'll take any good prospect. <clears throat> That's a pretty damn good pitcher, although I don't like his movement. True. Bowser, I don't really need middle infield. No, your movement's not good enough. Your movement's not good enough. I don't need another shortstop right now. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, ooh. You are an interesting dude. You are very interesting. Mr. Maduro, you are currently first on my list. Uh, Eric Kirinadongo 
is, first of all, an amazing name. Second, an amazing hitter. And he's so young. He's so young. But he could be so good. Uh, can I get a scouting report on him before I decide? Maduro is quite a nice player, but he fills the position of need. Does Mr. Odongo. Carl Hartman, no movement, no thank you. Wilfredo bore me, no movement, no thank you. Uh, I'm going to wait and then see what kind of offer I get for... What kind of scouting report I get. Here we go. We're a little less confident about his otherworldly contact. Let's get another scouting report. Rule 5 draft time. I see no real reason to spend any time here, so I'm just going to instantly just go ahead and complete the draft. I might lose a couple people to the Rule 5. It's fine. I've got plenty of players. Paul DeJong, huh? All the players I got, that's the one that you want. Okay. Give me that scouting report. He is very, very close to being selected. Very close indeed. All right. I'm going to pull the trigger on you, but I'm going to see if I can pay a little bit less for him. Uh, you really want Lorenzo. That's a good start. You've got a load of prospects. I would like to sample some more of them, please. Matt Moore. Can I have you throw him in, please? No. Because I'm not going to pay anything else to take one home. How about Eric Showers? Must be a joke. You know what? You guys aren't going to give me anything else, are you? That's... Yeah, I'm just going to take this deal. It's what we want. We're trading a strength for a strength. Sorry, a weakness for a strength. That's what I meant to say. How dare I? Yeah, Bobby Witt Jr. sliding in at third base. Judson Fabian taken over at Triple A. This is good. Pass. How did you burn yourself in the off season? On a barbecue. God damn it. You really think I want this guy? I do not at all. Uh anyone else that wants just a stupid amount of arbitration money? To be a backup. Ah, uh, Tawa. 
I think you're going to stick around. I just don't have a better choice than you right now. Bobby Witt wants to get paid, and until I see him play third base, the answer to that question is no. These are going to be some expensive years coming up here. Without question. Cabrera Verlander both made it. Nice. Nobody else did of any note. Grinky came close. Why didn't I vote for Grinky? I must have missed him. Sorry, Grinky. I mean, I've got money for a big one-year deal. I just don't know where I'd apply it. So I think, you know, we're just going to sim up to spring training. I see no other purpose to it. I see no other reason to spend money. We've got a team that's gone to the World Series two years in a row. And yes, we lost Arenado, but the two players that are going to replace him, I think, I hope, will make up. And Hancock is becoming really upsetting to me. We're going to be stuck with his giant contract. Fuck. Do I try to trade him? Because here's the thing. He is clearly not recovering well from his injury last season. Like, not at all. I know it was a serious injury. Don't get me wrong. But, yikes. Hmm. I just don't know who would pay extra for Hancock right now. Spring training is here. Beautiful. Clark, Metheny, Quirindongo, Benedict, more. Hey, it's Drew Jones. I remember you. Uh, Mr. Reese, I think you've earned yourself an invite to spring training. I don't think that's an unfair thing to ask. Mr. Herrera, Mr. Bernal, Mr. Neal, and Mr. Perez, Mr. Fom, and Mr. Fisher. Load him up, bench coach. I know the dude's a good power hitter, but you're really making him the DH over Fabian? I think you're not sure how to deal with Fabian. Okay, that's fair. And then we're going to go six-man rotation. There we go. Oakley Dokley. I don't care about a herniated disc on a relief pitcher. You'll deal with it. Fabian, I don't know what to do with you, bro. Every time I try to give you an opportunity, you screw it up. Are you at barbecue with what's-his-face? All right, three months out, uh, instantly putting you on. I'm going to wait, actually, before I put you on the DL. I don't see any reason to rush. Reese improved a good bit, actually. 
Bernal enjoyed his time, his brief time in the majors very much. There's some good stuff there. Uh, right. Let's finish spring training and then see where we are with the roster. He's only going to be out for a week. That's acceptable. Another week, if you please, game. <laughs> One more week. Week. And we're done. Okay. Spring training is over. All right, Pedro King, disabled list. Fom, disabled list. And no one else got hurt. Okie dokie. Oof. All right, we have 20 player pitchers. I need to get rid of seven of you. Herrera, back to double A. Neil, back to, where were you? Double A. And you're a starter, you are not a relief pitcher. Reese. I think a bit more time in double A would be very beneficial for you. All right. I now have 17 players. I still got to get rid of four more. Which is awkward. Um, hmm. Zach Peak to the Miners. Kabarakis, could you replace Doey? You could. So that's a good replacement for next year. What am I at for pitchers now? 15. Still got to find a way to get rid of two more. Ha uh, Schmidt. Um, back to the miners with you, and then one more, right? One more. I think we trade Gretch. I don't think he's a bad player. I just don't think he has much of a purpose on our current team. Let's get silly, actually. Is there an elite center fielder to be had? Even if we take on some payroll, for the right center fielder, it's worth it. I mean, I can get, frankly, amazing closers, so let's shift to center field, please. We have you, who can't really play center. I get my old friend Jaron Kendall back. I remember you. There's nothing here, really. It's a shame, but it's true. Like, I could trade for a Jared Oliva and hope he figures out how to play center field. But he's also 31. That seems pretty unlikely to me. You know what? Diego Perez is a pretty good center fielder. He's super young. 
I think he deserves a chance with an organization that might appreciate him a bit more. So I'm just going to trade. All right, we're down to 13. Beautiful. Lineups. Oh, Lord, do I got to get rid of a lot of players. Okay. For starters, Bernal. Uh, double A. Toral, someone else can take you. What can I get for you? I am getting offers. And as long as that offer results in a player... Uh, Montegro is a good possibility. I do like me some Cole Wagner. I'm going to take Monegro because his skill set is going to be useful in the minors. Even if I don't immediately play. Oh, maybe actually I do take, uh, I think I do take Wagner. Here we go. Complete trade. What else we got? Mr. Jones, triple A. Mr. Clark, triple A. Mr. Quintana, triple A. Mr. Quirindongo, the A of the triples. Mr. Benedict, you guessed it, triple A. Matheny, ma triple A. Perez, Fisher. Moore. And Graffinino. Done. It's pretty much the same roster I had last season, which is kind of what I expected. Let's advance to opening day, and then we shall set our roster, sorry, our lineup and our pitching staff for the upcoming season. A couple of promotions, that's fine. Top 100 prospects, none of them are Orioles. That's completely to be expected. Um, rookie draft. No. Prospect pipeline? No. Oh, no, actually, this is a good overview. I still have five in the top hundred, which is pretty good for someone who hasn't had a good draft pick in a long time. And I've got 24 in the top 500. So, you know, there's a lot to be said here for the depth of our quality. I don't know what to do about Quintana. I genuinely don't. We'll figure it out. Um, okay. Clear that pitching staff. Five-man rotation. Jack Leiter is the ace among all aces. He will forever be the number one on this team. Next, uh, Pierrat or Cindergaard? I think it's Pierrat, then Cindergaard, then Hendricks, then Hancock. And that's kind of a shock based on where Hancock was just a year ago. But this injury has really taken a lot out of him. Now he's going to be given every opportunity this season to make a comeback. But he would be profoundly stupid to opt out of this contract. And I really, truly hope he does. Uh, Pierrette, you gave us three consecutive inning, three consecutive seasons. You are no longer under a pitch count. Brandon Hendricks, let's keep you at, uh, let's bump you up to 90. 
Now, relievers only, please. Max Mayer, you are the long reliever emergency starter. Ouch. I just wang to the, the back of my heel. Uh, Edwin Diaz, you are lay closer. Now, who is the setup man? There's a lot to be said for basically all of them, except for Doey. Doey, my friend, you still have the same role you've always had. All right, what we need in a setup guy is somebody who is super reliable and just gets people out. And I think that's still Clace. I think he's still the best choice as our setup guy. And then Vizcaino as the second setup guy. I mean, Vizcaino's in, year last year was just stupid in terms of relief quality. And I love every second of it. And then a bunch of middle relief. Uh, if I'm going to ride any arm more of this group, I'd like to ride... Uh, De La Cruz the most. Both because of his stamina and because of his overall quality as a pitcher. Alright. Pitching staff is set. Still very competitive. Very, very good. I think this is the strength of our team. Not just Jack Leiter, but especially Jack Leiter. But especially Bart. Uh, let's clear it all. Alright. Who is the best hitter on the team? It's Daniel Cabrera. I don't know why I keep asking that question. Uh, who's actually the better set left fielder? It is Fabian by a tiny bit. But I'm still going to wait. I'm still not going to change that just yet. Okay. The best power hitter on the team is Hendrick. I feel like he's worth a 70 now. Holy shit, we do. Okay. No, that is absolutely fine with me. Hendrick, you're the cleanup guy. Mountcastle backs him up. And Rushman bats sixth. I think leadoff is going to be Corona Jr., and then Luis Garcia. And then Judson Fabian hitting 7th as the designated hitter, of course. No, uh, Bobby Witt, I would like to hit 7th. And then Tawa bats ninth. Um, I would like to spell you every a little bit more frequently, Rushman. Everything else here looks fine to me. Copy line up, and I'm not even going to waste time. I'm just going to go ahead and paste this as is and have you regenerate the depth chart. And again, let's give a bit more of a frequent break to Rushman. You know what? Screw it. Bobby Wood Jr., you're batting eighth. And this is not a criticism of you, but just Judson Fabian is just better. Okay. <clears throat> That's the lineup. Uh, bench coach, you can do your thing here. And with that, I think it's a good time to call this episode. I have every expectation that we're going to make the playoffs again this season. We have basically the same roster, and we've replaced one really great player with two very good ones. 
So I think overall we're still going to see a pretty high quality offense and pitching staff. Now losing Hancock is is troubling. I don't know he's not gone in an objective sense. But he went from being one of the best starters in the league to an also ran. And I can't afford to pay that. So what we might give some thought to uh, sometime this season is actually trading him. In fact, I'm going to do something a bit bold. I'm going to put him on the block. And I want to see if anybody's going to offer for him. I don't think they will. But he's at the point now where his lack of movement makes him a liability in our ballpark. But we'll see how he turns out. Uh, Noah Syndergaard has been... Wow. We do need another starter. And that starter, I think, is right here. I think it's Andy Neal. I think if he gets this control problem sorted, he could be cracking the Major League rotation within two years. And I'm pretty comfortable saying that. Uh, I don't think he'll crack it this year, no matter what happens, but I think he's got a chance to make an argument for next year. OSA thinks he could be legendary. We're merely convinced he's going to be excellent, and either one of those is great with me. Until next time, though, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.